Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Bullet Train 2022. This is a new movie out in theaters exclusively for now. Uh, this is the movie is rated R with a runtime of two hours and six minutes. Uh, as of the recording of this video, the Rotten Tomato score is critics 54%, which is ludicrous to me, uh, and the audience is 78%. Uh, movie directed by David Lee uh, and r- written by Zach Alkowicz, uh, based on the book by Kotaro Isaka. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the trailers or any of that stuff, I won't go into too many spoilers, but I'll give you a synopsis. Um, in Bullet Train, uh, Brad Pitt starts an, as an unlucky assassin determined to do his job peacefully after one too many gigs gone off the rails. Fate, however, has many other plans as the latest mission puts him in collision course with lethal adversaries from around the globe, all with connected yet conflicting objectives on the world's fastest train from the director of Deadpool 2 David Lee the end of the line is the only it's only the beginning of wild non-stop thrill ride in modern day Japan uh and yeah that's the main thing I feel like this movie has going for it the action uh is amazing like it all really works the it really lifts up what other aspects of it like we have I would say this movie has two pillars going for it the cast and the action all that stuff really supports this movie and makes it all fun. We have a storyline that is simple enough, and it's just, it's, it's, it feels like it would be very straightforward, but actually, there's a few levels to the storytelling that I really enjoyed. Uh, now, granted, I'm not uh, a movie goer that really notices a lot of things until they're kind of right there in my face. Uh, so I really enjoyed being surprised by all these little unfolding things that, that keep happening throughout the film. Uh, let's t- uh, talk about the cast a little bit. Uh, and I won't go into their names uh, just to try to avoid any spoilers. Uh, but Brad Pitt is the main protagonist. He's one of the assassins. We also have Joey King, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Brian Tyree Hill, uh, who we've all seen in the trailer, all those four characters. We have Andrew Koji, uh, Hiroyuki Sanada, Sandra Bullock, and Bad Bunny. Um, all of them have great parts in this movie. Um, and yeah, this, this movie just... It's an ensemble movie, and that's what's really the main driving point of this story, I feel, that we're going to have interactions with all these characters. All these characters have their own little quirks, their own little, like, they're all very, uh, maybe they're not as um, as nuanced as other other characters in other movies, but I don't think they need to be for this movie. There's just, it's a small glimpse of time that we're looking at in their lives. Uh, so really, really interesting stuff. Like I mentioned, the, the the action really just puts this over the top. It was such an enjoyable movie. I really had a good time watching this at the theater. Uh, the dialogue is funny. Like I said, the story kind of keeps unfolding and, and doing little callbacks and reveals. And it's just really interesting stuff that uh, sometimes you may think, like, why would the story tell us to, you know, why would any of this be mentioned in the movie? But everything really builds upon itself and has uh, and it has pretty much a purpose in the movie. Uh the cast is amazing. The The visuals are really cool. I love the setting of Japan and this bullet train. Uh, I think it's a really interesting uh, device to put all your characters in, in just this one place where they all have freedom to move around, but yet they are confined in a way. Uh, really, really fun stuff. They believe it's just amazing at doing action. I think we are very aware of that. He's also really good at doing ensemble movies. I mean, you know, Deadpool 2 and stuff like that. Uh, so he definitely knows how to work with a lot, especially because he's worked with a lot of these actors. Uh, there's plenty of surprises there. So I think you'll definitely remember this. The music, the needle drops are great. Um, and everything just really, really works well together for uh, for somebody that loves action movies like myself. Uh, this just really hit the nail on the head. It's been a good weekend for movies with, uh, with this and Prey. Like, just I've had a lot of fun. Uh, so if you're looking for a fun movie, Bullet Train, I feel like delivers... Uh, on what it promised in those trailers. So I, I don't know what the criticisms are. I really haven't gone to read other reviews. I wanted to do mine before looking into that. Um, I'm sure that uh, the story the story could have been um, maybe something that people had an issue with because it felt sometimes, at some points, it might have felt convenient, but I think that it suits the overall theme of, of what Bullet Train is trying to say. So um, yeah, I, I'm pretty excited. I had a good time at the theater. Uh, at two hours runtime, this was perfect. So go have a good, you know, go have a good time at the theater. Maybe wait for this to come out on streaming. I think it'll be a good time 
watching at home. I know for sure I'll definitely be rewatching this at least one more one more time when it comes out uh, digitally or in. Uh, I'm sure this will get a really cool steelbook actually, just based on the aesthetics of the film, which I cannot emphasize enough how cool they really are. Uh, I wish we would have more movies set in different interesting places part of the world, uh, as opposed to just maybe a back lot or somewhere in the, that looks like New York or LA or something like that. So uh, let me know what you thought of the movie. If you've seen it, uh, let us know down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live, that is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.